Hello everyone, it's Jules by Jude here. And what I'm going to do today is show you how to use my rose cane I made the other day. So first thing I'm going to do is tell you, oh, this is uh, from RJ Crafts. I bought this from RJ Crafts. It's, uh, I call it a collar. It says a soft V. But I'm calling it a collar cutter. It's um, from set 268 clay cutters from RJ Crafts. So there's your shout out. Alright, here we go. This is on my number two. And this is going to be where I cut my, I'm, you know, I'm just going to put an impression on here slightly. And I learned how to do this from Jessima. Okay, so I didn't go all the way through. Now what I'll do here is now I have some transfer clay going on from my black from my last one. So we'll let's see how that turns out for me, okay? Hopefully there won't be any um, negative things from that. Alright, now what I'm going to do is this is my biggest part of my clay. If you watched the previous video that was like three minutes long then you'll see that I did have different sizes. So, because this is kind of wonky, okay, All right. I'm going to place that like that and I don't think I'm going to leave any black in between and I guess you'll see what I mean by that shortly okay so I'm going to start with that now I did do some other work with this cane so I don't have the real tiny ones but I can make them real tiny I can show you how to do that too so next up are one of the sizes like that. Okay. Now I'm going to cut some slices from that. And I'm going to place them wherever I want. I don't know about that. Let's see. Let's do here. And we do something like that. Maybe we'll get another one in here. Maybe not. No. Good night, dear. Good night, dear. <laughs> he just wants to be on the video. <laughs> okay. Man behind the scenes. That's a little squishy. It's going to be even squishier. Okay, so let me see what I have left in cane sizes here to do. Alright. Alright. Hmm. It does have a little bit of yellow on it now. This is one of my smaller ones, and what's important is to keep in mind that they all came from the same cane. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, I'm just going to plant these all around and see how this comes out. I like this collar. I call it a co I've been calling it a collar cutter. And I can't wait to see how it comes out. And I will show y'all as soon as I get that opportunity to finish up this 
this particular one. So, what I'm going to do is burnish this down to a smaller size and it's going to spread immensely. And I should still have something that resembles a rose. If not, maybe it'll be just a pretty design. That's the way some of these things go. And uh, we'll go back and forth and check it out. So next I'm going to do is get this wax paper that I'm always using. And I pick it up at every sale I uh, go to. So what I'm going to do now is push down on my uh, cane that I have spread out. And I have individually placed many of my pieces. Now. I am pushing because they're kind of thick. And I'm going to go like that. And I'm so glad I, I have my wax paper because that was a piece of black I would not have wanted on my piece. So, what I want to do is get this to all join together. So that's why I'm burnishing it. Anyway, I am. Lift it up, take a peek at it, and you can see how some of the colors have come through. Okay, now I'm going to take this and see how close we are to being done. All right, all right. Now I'm going to take a piece of this this in half and cover that up because I really don't like that. I might do it this way. And then I'm going to cut this in a quarters put the back inward as you can see. And I'll put that there too. Cover that up. I'm going to cut another piece out. I'm going to place that there and there. And this will make sense, I hope, soon. And then we're going to check this out. So I'm going to here. Okay, we still need to fill some areas. So what I'll do is this here, put that there, and I think I have something over here that needs to fill in. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's see here. What I'm doing, is, and I'm pretty sure you can tell, is that I'm filling in these gaps 
that I have because I don't want my background to show, which is black. All right, let's try it again. I'm going to push that in just a little bit. Push it down. And we're going to varnish. So, let me work this down. stand up. Guys, I think it needs a little bit more pressure. Okay. That should be in pretty good. I'm going to pull this away instead of cutting it. Let's see how this cutter acts and reacts to me. Because it's important, you know? The artist is important in the tools and crafts that, it, that they use. Now, I'm going to remove that piece of black. That disturbing my piece. Now I want to get as much of this black as I possibly can out of the way. And I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to clean up with my alcohol as much as I can, including everything I touched. And pray I do not transfer it onto the white. I don't want that at this time. I don't want to have to take off. And the one thing I forget about the most is my hands, believe it or not. You'd think it would be the first thing that I remember to clean off, but it sometimes is the last. And then it's because I'm too worried about what's going on around me instead of what I have on me. So sure that that's the case. Take my blades. Take everything around me. Now see there was some yellow. I'm like, what are you kidding me? Alright. Let's see here. Alright. This baby is very sharp. Okay. Great reveal here. Huh, looks nice. All right. It's very interesting. All right. I don't know how that got there. Let me get that off of there. I'm thinking about maybe putting some mica on here. Break up that white.
this I think takes away from some of that abrupt white I got going on in it. That's my thought. So um, testing it and seeing it. I'm just going to do what I want it to do. Imagining it in my brain. I'm trying to put it down into a piece of art. It's a little lumpy right there because I didn't like that dark spot. Um, I'll get that in there. Now, this is leaving a little bit of a streak, and I'm, of course, going to rub this out with the um, wax paper. But first, I want to get a good, healthy dose on this because I think some of it's going to come off on that paper. I almost see something else in that. I'm trying to think. What else could I put on there? But before I do that, let us do this. see where and you gotta look at it pretty closely and see where you have some pieces that um put it that way and I don't want too many lines sticking out so that's why I want to put a little varnish burnish I'm sorry burnish Always go like that. And let me hit this baby up. But this little bugger is bothering me. Let me see something. Let me see. Let me see. something so tiny because it drives you crazy <laughs> time to go around and do your thing. Alright, so this is kind of where I had it before. Alright. We'll see what happens. 
happen now. Maybe. Let's see. Well, I don't think I'm going with that. Glue, and I will stick that bad boy right on there. And we'll see how it comes out in a few. But I think I like it. So I'll see you in a few. Oh, that's right, I have to put it on a bowl. Okay, everybody, this is how I'm going to bake it for an hour. And uh, I like it, and I will show you the finished product when I'm done. But until then, I'm going to put this video out so you can see it. So, there she be. If you like this video, like it. If you like it, share it, and please subscribe. Thanks. God bless. Jewels by Jude.